Wild Pack, it's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Pick a Card Daily Tarot reading for June 24th, 2021. See how confident I was about, <laughs> about the date for those of you that know me? No, I never know what day it is, so I feel really good about that one. Strike one up for Bernadette. So, um, I uh, before we get started, hopefully you like the free content that I produce here. Well, me and Joel and Amy and... Teapot and Maureen and everybody else on my team that I couldn't live without, Emma Bears, all my spirit animals, and all y'all. Um, hopefully you like it, and you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel, making sure to hit the little ringy-dingy bell thingy, and make sure you get all of your alerts. Also, uh, please, 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 please share, uh, disseminate my videos, pollinate the world with the videos, pollinate the world with tarot, with spirit animals, with the readings. It really doesn't have anything to do with me. I'm just the messenger. So um, do that and also get me on over to wildpackwisdom.com forward slash forums and get all involved up in there because it's crazy madness over there. So uh, jumping right into today's reading because I don't, uh, you know, as I've often told you all, I just am so grateful because doing these daily readings, uh, you know, doing the daily tarot card readings for you all, and then, you know, constantly talking with spirit, you know, my animal spirit gods and your animal spirit gods. Okay, what do you want me to do now? What should this be like? What should that be like? It is like, like I feel like a big ball of taffy or, or maybe even pizza dough and even being spun up in the air, you know, hopefully some hot Italian catches me as I fall. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, you don't even have to be Italian. I'm also just kidding. But uh, but it, it has just really stretched me in such a way uh, as a channel, as a reader, as an animal communicator. And that's because the animals, uh, the animal allies have been giving me messages to give to you all that in all the years of doing this, I've never heard before. That's never come to me before. And I know that it's the energy that you all surround the ark with and all the animal spirit guides. It's just really magical and amazing. And so let I, I thank you so much. Um, if you're new here, you'll get to know me. I, I'm the best kind of crazy. Uh, and, and so are a lot of uh, people in the wild pack. And you probably are too. And for those of you that are longtime subscribers uh, and really do love animals and all their messages and, and work so, so diligently about getting in deeper relationship with them and doing good for animals, Oh, there just is not enough thanks in the world, but thank you. All right, so jumping right in there, kooky but true, um, the butterfly inverted has come for you all today, and it's coming for you. Normally, when you see a butterfly, I mean, it's like you can give the symbolism and the message of a butterfly in like 30 seconds, we're done here, but that's not... Let me just tell you what, let me just tell you what the animal allies downloaded into me when this card came out. Because I really had to sit back and think, when I started to make the video, I, I thought I knew what it was supposed to be about. And then all of a sudden, when I moved forward to record and say the words that I was thinking, I kept having a, a hand put over my mouth. And I was like, okay, I get it. So then I just really sat deeply. Well, I didn't sit deeply, but I sat in deep contemplation. And, um, and I, I was shown something that I've never, ever, ever been shown about butterfly ever before. And that is this. Yes, butterflies are harbingers of change. They're harbingers of metamorphosis. And that's fine. And you do have a change on the way for you. You're probably going through a metamorphosis of some kind. However, if you have tuned into this reading today, and you had change on your mind, a move, a change, a whatever, don't do it. Not in this moment. Maybe in a few moments, like a few months, maybe in a year, but not at this moment. You, 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 you might start out on your journey, but don't make that change right at this moment because things are not going to look like what you think they're going to look like if you go ahead and you make this change. Now, meaning if you're just, if you'll just be patient, if you'll just sit with it for a bit, there's an unfolding of events that have to happen. And then it, all I can hear is that Christopher Cross song, going to ride like the wind. Dun, 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 uh, I do Christopher Cross better than Christopher Cross does Christopher Cross. But anyway, uh, 
it, it's ride like the wind. I just keep hearing it. Now, the message to that is this, and y'all, I know I sound tinny. Uh, I can't. I'm having a devil of a time with this new sound system. So please, I, I'm sorry, just for today until Joel can get to me please, and, and he can fix it because he's a fix-it guy. I, I'm sorry for the tinniness. But um, I, you know, butterflies are really fragile creatures, but especially the monarch butterfly, when they go on their great migrations across thousands and thousands of miles of open ocean, open sea, and you know that air is blowing through there like, and blowing them all over the dang place. They always manage to get back on track, mostly. However, there are the poor souls that don't make it back on track, and uh, and then they become mermaids, if you know what I mean. So there's something about you not being able to sustain the wind factor, not being able to weather the storms, because you go in too quickly and you don't necessarily have the oomph that it takes to, to, to bluster right through these storms or these winds. It doesn't even have to be a storm. It's just a wind. I mean, if you think about it and go to a butterfly, that thing's flailing backwards and going, Whoa, why'd you do that? Again, they're fragile, but they're mighty in terms of what they, you know, they don't know they're being mighty. They just, you know, they get up and go, hey, looks like it's time to migrate. See ya. And off they go. Now, having said that, let me say this. There is a tremendous, tremendous ancestral energy around butterflies. In particular, again, monarch butterflies. They have been trapped in that wherever their family lands in like, like let's say in Mexico, right? Cause they migrate to Mexico at whatever tree in whatever place in Mexico, eight, nine generations of butterflies later that are going on their first migration will go back every time to where their ancestors have roosted every time, every time, unless of course, you know, they don't sustain the winds and then they become mermaids because they fall into the drink. And I'm convinced that if a, if a butterfly falls into something like water, it then becomes like an angelic version of whatever that is, which in this case is mermaids or who knows, maybe it's going back to its past life in, uh, in Atlantis. Stranger things could happen, but shamanism, which is the lane that I, you know, that I'm in, um, spirit totem and power animals, which is the lane that I'm in, it is, is a lot about ancestral heritage. And, and, you know, there is tremendous, tremendous work around healing ancestral wounds, ancestral bonds, healing your ancestors, healing yourself, your former self in another life, you know, maybe even sending good juju to a future you. All of that, I believe, is possible. However, in this moment, it's important that you know that the ancestral bonds, the ancestral lineage, lineage, the ancestral trauma is not yours to heal at the moment. And I don't know that you can in this lifetime. And so if family or, you know, friends or whatever, people from your past are very much on your mind and on your heart, and you're wondering what you can do to heal that inside of yourself or get messages from them, for them, whatever, now is not the time. It might be the time in the future, but now is not the time. The other thing, and isn't that the kookiest message, y'all? And yet it's so profound because, I mean, we are the sum total of what we've been, of all the pieces, parts that we've been. We're the sum total of that now. If you believe in that kind of stuff, I do. Another unusual message that I got from this butterfly in particular. Now, let me just say, there are some incredibly beautiful butterflies and moths in this world. Just incredible. And I could find colorful, beautiful moths all day long, but try to find a good picture of a butterfly. That, now, there's nothing wrong with this butterfly at all, but it, it mostly the animals that are in the ark, which is the deck that I read with, my own ark animal tarot and oracle deck, which is based on the Rider Waite Smith tarot card system, right? Their tarot card meanings and, you know, symbolism and that kind of thing. I really thought 
that once we did find an excellent picture, it would be a super colorful butterfly, not like this. I'm not disappointed. I don't, I hope no one else has been disappointed, but it was a little less colorful than I would have thought. That said, when this butterfly comes inverted this time, what I am actually being shown is that this is not the time to spread your wings and show your true colors shining through. And it's not even about your true colors. Nobody's saying don't be in, you know, nobody's saying don't be inauthentic, don't wear a mask, or, uh, no one's telling you to wear a mask. It's not like that. It's just that the you that is the most colorful, vibrant version of you is not ready to take center stage. Not yet. It's coming, but not yet. And if you do, if you're like, well, I'm just going to fake it till I make it, you're, you're going to be living the actual embodiment, the actual physical sensation, the actual physical in reality, in waking life version of the, have you ever had a dream where you're like thrown out on stage and you either don't know the lines or you're naked or both? I, I don't know if you've ever had it. It's a, they're wildly disturbing dreams. If you have had it, you know what I mean? And what that tells you is you're just not ready to show up in all of your glory. That can also symbolically point to, you know, when you talk about someone showing up in all of their glory, you talk about showing up naked and vulnerable to the world. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, just without clothes, right? It, it, it doesn't mean that. What it can mean is you've decided to be okay with your vulnerability, with your sensitivity, and you're now leading with that, or at least not even leading, but it's just there and you're not shielding it or hiding it or, or like crazy protecting it, blocking it any longer. This is not the time to do that. <laughs> this is the time, you know, to just lay low for a little bit. And, and when the time is right, you'll know. It's like, oh, did you guys ever see the movie? Um, um, Chocolat with uh, Juliette Binoche and Johnny Depp. And she goes places because of what she feels in the wind has come to her in the wind. Oh, such a great movie. If you guys have never seen it, please, I'm begging you a while back, watch that movie. It is such a study in human personality and just how people think and the, 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 the personas that they get caught up in being for no good reason. It's a great movie. But this reminds me of that. It's like what I'm feeling and hearing and well, really even in seeing and smelling is um, a, you should have some chocolate. You should have some chocolate, but you should have chocolate every day. That's the world that I live in. Um, and join me, join me here. We have cookies and we have chocolate. So it's that you'll know when the time is to fly. You'll know when the time is to just broadcast these amazing colors because you'll smell it, you'll feel it, you'll taste it, you'll hear it on the wind. The thing that I can liken that to in real life is when you walk out of your house one day or you wake up and you're like, fall is in the air, or you are just coming out of like crazy winter time and there still may even be some snow on the ground or it may even really be chilly, chilly or cold, cold, but you, it's that whiff, it's that smell, it's that sense of spring is right around the corner. And for you, that is this kind of thing. And I really am equating it more to spring because that's an emergence as well. That's a rebirth as well. And it may be that I'm being told for you all, oh, I am. There's a significant amount of you wild pack that are already planning for something in the spring. Like you already know between now and the end of the year and then even into the winter after the first of the year is not the time. But there's something in you that's calling you for springtime. Oh, that's very exciting. Uh, that's very exciting. So, uh, yeah, that's like really in a nutshell, that's the reading today. And it's so unusual for butterfly. You may have to sit with this a bit. You really may have to. Oh, sorry. One more thing is incoming. You know, there are about a gajillion kind of butterflies. You're actually being called from this reading today to just, I don't know, get a book, look in books, look online, 
but look up different species of butterflies and see which one speaks to you most and then start working with that as your spirit animal for whatever this change is that you're wanting to make, think you're in the process of making, think will be done by this time, whatever you think about this metamorphosis or this change, unthink it. And the butterfly can help you do that. But it's got to be specific to the, to, the, to the kind of butterfly. Is it a monarch? Is, is, is it a zebra? Is it a this? Is it a that? And I think you're going to be surprised when you start looking at world butterflies. I think you're going to be surprised how many are out there. But one will speak to you. It'll whisper in your ear and twitch its little antenna and maybe tickle your ear a little bit. And that's it. You'll know which one it is. So I hope that was helpful. Um, pick up your copy of the Ark Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the little ringy dingy bell thingy and get all the notifications. Um, come on over and join us at uh, the forums, uh, wildpackwisdom.com forward slash forums. And as always, the most important things ever are what? To do good for animals, including yourself, and stay wild! <laughs>